I am honored and glad to be here. For some of you, I started coming here before you did. That's correct. I started coming here before anybody who is here, apart from our brother, who happens to be the son. So, this is my father. In more ways than one, for those who don't understand it. Very personal. Very personal relationship. That runs very deep. Beyond the understanding of many. So I'm here to pay homage to him. I'm here to acknowledge him for all the work he has been doing. I'm also here to re-emphasize about the need for the bonding which is now taking place all around every agitating group in Biafra land. And to say that I thank him especially for having sent my brothers to come to see me in Kujia prison. He did so, not minding. And also to tell him that as we were before, so have we returned to now. I can't be Avra. No! Stop that kind of problem. I can't be Avra. Thank you. You can go there with You can go be Avra. I can't be Avra. I can't be Avra. I must. I must insist on this clarification so that the gentlemen of the media who are here can quote me correctly. I insisted, I repeat, I insisted on the formation of the Council of Elders. My insistence, nobody else's. I said I will not do the offer without elders. When he came, I told you in London, we had a meeting in London, I told him. Because I understand the importance of elders and the role that they can play in terms of stabilizing everything we are doing and giving an acceptable face before the whole world. I was in London when our brother Megas Rick came home and spoke to him, came back and said to me that he's ready to go. And I said there is no problem. That is my father will go together, we'll work together. What happened was a misunderstanding, a monumental misunderstanding and misinformation 